previously on Alien Colonial Marines. Clear, actual. Go ahead with the manifest. Bishop cross-referenced the call tag with our own records. They have a Marine from the ship supplying them with information. Whether under duress or otherwise, is unknown. From our ship? They kidnapped a Marine off the Sephora, sir? Wrong ship. He's from the Sulaco. I don't understand, actual. All Marines on the Sulaco were KIA. Negative winner. One is alive, and they're moving him soon. We don't leave Marines behind. Mission to follow. Actual out. Aliens take fire. Fire. Close your eyes. You get that, Maureen? I promised. Get everyone off the planet. Ura to Ash's spell. Ura to... What's up, everybody? In case you haven't noticed uh, the sunglasses-looking stuff on my face, these are the x Air 2 Pros. It is hot as hell today in my room, so I decided to go ahead and wear these instead to uh, limit the amount of heat being generated because I do have a OLED TV that generates a lot of heat, a lot of heat, and on top of that, my gaming, my new gaming rig that generates a lot of heat. So. We are going to try and limit as much heat as possible, even though I have the AC running in the background, but sometimes when you got the two in conjunction with each other, it equals hot as fuck! Alright, so now that I got that BS out of the way for you guys, let's go ahead and continue on. So these, this heads, these um, glasses are only capable of displaying... I guess that happened in here. I'll wait for Winner's fit. I mean, um, O'Neill is finished talking, so... These glasses are only capable of doing 1080p native, but I have it upscaled with my uh, NVIDIA software to 4K, so we're still doing 4K gaming at 120Hz. Well, for me it is, but for you, it'll be, uh, when you watch this on YouTube, it'll be 2K at 60Hz. But still better, oops, still better than nothing, right? Okay, so we are, nope, let's take that. Not full on armor. All right, now let's see. Hostage extraction is what we Why are doing. Concentrated in this module. The Xenos all knew to come here. Well, maybe they're being lured here, or there's something that's telling them to lure here, to, to come here, not lure here. All right, I guess I'll push the button then. Oh, it's the queen. Actual, you seeing this? Affirmative winner. The image is shaking. What the hell is that? It's the queen. Say again, O'Neill. Did you just say a queen? What the hell else would you call it? Laying eggs. Just get blue! Get the cat! Up, the queen is a free. She is free. The bitch is loose. Alright, so we must be getting towards the end of the game then, if we've already come in across the queen and witnessing her and her greatness. Let's move, man. I'm out with one. Oh, shit. I'm out with one to stick around with that big bitch either. She's scary. Oh, hold on. What do we got here? So we got three dog tags and two audio logs. Hi, Wade!
fuck you guys. Oh, she is tail with you motherfuckers. I mean, that is what she's capable of, is tail whipping motherfuckers. With that long ass fucking harpoon like tail. She's angry! She's so angry! Calm down, bitch. I wonder what happened with that giant. I mean, we know we saw it in like a pin, but I wonder what happened. Oh, shit! But I wonder what happened with that giant battering ram alien that we saw in the previous uh, chapter or two. I'm actually surprised there wasn't a point where she tried to grab us. Hold on, O'Neill. Let's see if there's... Oh, wait. There ain't nothing. Readings behind us, but nothing's happening, so... Just wants to... Wants to think, just the game wanting us to think that there's something behind us. Locate and rescue the captive marine. Still somewhat hot in this fucking bitch, man. Oh. Shouldn't you be worried about the aliens versus me, you cocksucker? Back up. I will take that armor, sir. The warriors are going, oh shit. You got a little too close there, buddy. Back the fuck up. Oh, it's madness. We got Wayland Yukuni, ass fuck. And the aliens, all at the same time. Your reload is kind of slow on this. I mean, it is what it is, but I mean, it's not. At least it's not like um, Skinwalker Hunt slow, where your character reloads really fucking slow until you get that 30% reload speed upgrade. But even then, sometimes you're not even guaranteed that upgrade. It's, the upgrades are random once you meet the certain amount of uh, points requirements each time. But that's always my go-to whenever I play Skinwalker Hunt, when it, if it gives me that option. Faster reload, because your character reloads hella slow. Okay. I highly doubt there's going to be tags and stuff out here, but you never know. Alright, so he's that way, so... Ah, here we go. Some ammo. Armor's full, so that's good. Nothing around here. Just checking really quick there, Mr. O'Neill. Or Nugget, I should say. You told her about that? I thought she was actually there present when he called you, when the captain called you Nugget. Looks like ammo down here, so let me go and grab that really quick. Alright, O'Neill's engaging with Coke. Negative actual! Looks like the perimeter of the compound went down completely! It's all going to shit here! I like how he's casually walking away while the alien's hitting him in the fucking back. What a dumbass. Alright, so he's probably in there, but let's... Oh, O'Neill's going this way for some reason, so I wonder if there's anything in, of importance in here then. Collect all this shit while we're at it. I'm hearing shit all around me, man! Don't worry, O'Neal. I got gotcha. you. Even though you got that big heavy-duty smart gun, that should be fucking clearing out a whole entire room on its own. I will back you up. What the hell? I 
I don't think that hit. Oh, it did hit. I mean, it does have, obviously, fra it does frag damage, so it should hit one way or another. Something ex- Oh, I'm here to scare you. Back up, bitch. Get popped in your fucking mouth. I see you, big, cute, scary alien. I mean, not big, cute, and scary, like big boy we boxed earlier, but you guys are still some scary motherfuckers. They're so scary. Okay. Come on, Winters, you're a Marine. You should be getting tired that soon. I mean... Okay. Not everyone has very strong cardio. And... I know these guys aren't technically depicted as fat, but who says there aren't fat Marines? I've seen plenty of fat Marines when I was, uh... deployed to Afghanistan. I wouldn't say plenty, but I've seen some fat... I've seen some... some fatties, okay? So you can't say there aren't fat people in the Marines. I think sometimes they just get a little too comfortable, even though there's, there's, they still get lucky enough to pass their fitness test, but still, there are there are the occasional fat people you see in the Marines. Not as much as you would see like in the uh, Army or, or the Air Force. Not sure about the Navy, but there are fat fucks that you can that you will see in the Marines too. Aha, uh -huh. something got on the tag. Fire First Class Tim Crow. Crow. That was one of the uh, names in um, the Aliens movie, wasn't it? I don't remember. All right. Well, damn, this guy, they relocate. This guy's hella far. I was say, come on, O'Neal, use that smart gun. Put it to fucking use. You have it for a reason. Clear out of, clear out of an area. Come on, man, don't let that alien fucking bitch smack you. Out, bitch. Oh shit, back up. Back it up. Okay. How many more of you out there? How many, who else wants some? Enter the structure! Enter the structure. Okay. Now you want to act like the big dog there, Mr. O'Neill? By telling me, with confidence, where to go. Oh, and also, by the way, I've, I wouldn't say I've gotten rid of my green screen, but I have actually am using a virtual green screen now. So, so far it looks like it seems to be working just fine, so that's really good. So I don't have to worry about putting up or dropping anything anymore. And also, all I have to do now is, if I really want to make it look like I'm just sitting out in this in an open space, I just drape the green screen behind my chair, so it makes the background behind me completely blacked out. That way, you don't see my gaming chair or anything like that. All right, so we're we gonna come across some face huggers now, since we look like we're going into some walking into some shit. I wonder who the poor bastard is that they caught. Actually, isn't this ammo right here? Oh, I'm full. Hmm. Wonder why it's saying I'm full. Unless it's for a different gun that I have. All right, so I see face hugger eggs. So I can see face huggers attacking us in the midst of this fight. Wayu after. 
We're working on it there, sir. But, you know. You know, we're getting shot at. Oh, is this a legendary weapon? I don't know, it's just rounds. I say, why is it, like, highlighted like that? I guess just tell me that's for the pulse rifle. Harvesting eggs, so go figure. Quick status update on the derelict ship, codename Origin. Interior is stable. Cross-referencing the ship's current state with reports supplied by y'all, it looks like the Origin has been relatively untouched since the, uh, what is it? USCSS Nostromo encountered it 50-odd years ago. Hell, even most of the eggs are still intact. If I cared, I tell you, Suits, that you're a bunch of exploitive dumbasses who are gonna get yourselves and a lot of innocent people killed. But since my shuttle leaves tomorrow, and this little project has got me enough money to buy a small country, I'll just say, good luck with all that. Hmm. Yep. I would feel the same way, too. Like, fuck you motherfuckers, this is a nice payout, and then I am out soon. How am I running low on ammo when I'm picking up ammo constantly? There must be ammo for other weapons then that I have. I like closing doors behind me just for safety precautions. And for those who have, who are new, or have never experienced or are interested... Oh, hold on, let's get past this part real quick. standing doesn't look like so anyways what i was saying is that for those who are new or interested in wanting to get a pair or uh just want an opinion like when you play like a first person shooter game like this because i think uh the first time i tried it i mean i've tried other games too but like when i tried like playing um call of duty uh which one not advanced warfare it's um infinity warfare i played that one for shits and giggles on my xbox with through with these glasses and the for the first match or two, it took me a little bit to get used to the um, fast-paced moving. You know, I got a little motion sickness, but I wouldn't say I got, like, complete motion sickness where it's like I, ha I wanted to, like, vomit or anything. But it did take a, uh, a little getting used to, though. But once you get used to it, it's pretty much nothing. I mean, these, this, these are actually a great alternative, like, if you want to... Nope. This lift doesn't work. These uh, glasses are a great alternative, like say if you uh, don't want to um, use your computer monitor a lot, or like say if you have like a Steam Deck, a Le Lenovo Legion Go, One X Player, any of those type of um, handheld consoles that have a USB Type-C output, you can actually plug these directly into those, because those actually do have the capability of uh, putting a video output through via USB Type-C. And you can also use it for your Nintendo Switch too, but there's a couple of things you have to consider when using it for your Switch. Um, if you use the HDMI adapter, which I am currently using right now, for the Switch, you would have to actually dock it to your um, Switch dock before you connect, and then have the HDMI from the dock go to the HDMI adapter, and then from the adapter to your glass. That's the one way to get the extra glasses to work. The other way, hold on, let's see if there's going to be any dialogue really quick. The other alternative, and there's two other alternatives. The other alternative is you can get the x real beam, which it's all right. I've had it. I'm trying to get rid of it. It's not the greatest. I mean, it is a better alternative, like if you don't want to dock your um, Switch. But obviously, um, with the extra air 
with the extra beam, it your switch will uh, act like it like it's still docked. So what it is is that you plug in from the extra beam to your switch, and then from your switch from the other port to your glasses because of the uh, the, the way how the extra beam is designed. It's like having your switch docked, but like I said, without having to use the Nintendo Switch dock. Hold on. How the hell was he able to shoot me when he wasn't even fucking in my line of sight or looking at me? But anyways, so the, the second way is basically using the X-Ray beam and then you go from one USB to the switch and then one USB to the glasses from the X-Ray beam. still there or is he dead but using that method your uh, switch will think that it's still docked so you'll still have to use a pro controller another wireless controller or just disconnect the joy cons and use those the third alternative which i think is the best alternative which i have i haven't used it recently for my switch but i also bought it for the purpose of my steam deck before i bought my lenovo legion go so i haven't really used my steam deck since i bought my lenovo legion go but the reason why I bought this Xreal Air adapter, I forgot what the exact name of the ad ad the adapter is called, but it's basically you plug it directly into your switch, just like the beam, and it's got two ports, one's the charging port and then one's for the glasses. So it actually allows you to charge your switch or your Steam Deck or any other wireless device while allowing you to um, view the video on your eyeglasses My god that isn't your god so like i said that one's the easiest method i forgot what the adapter is called i think it's just called the x-real adapter and then um and then of course as always it'll think that your switch is docked so you'll have to use like the a pro controller or a different type of wireless controller or just disconnect the joy cons and use those and then, like I said, I also bought it for purposes of my Steam Deck before I bought the Lenovo Legion Go. Oops, that's Onium. <laughs> Good thing there's no friendly fire in this. clear so yeah so the x real da adapter is probably the best choice out of the three that i mentioned in my uh, personal opinion and like i said i bought it also for the purpose of the steam deck since the steam deck only has one usb type c port so if i wanted to really use my x real air da adapters x real air glasses and charge the damn system at the same time i would have to dock it so I still have a uh, third party dock that I will keep just in case, but for the most part, I haven't really had to dock my Switch or my Steam Deck since with that adapter. Because like I said, the adapter is small, convenient, portable, allows you to plug directly into the Steam Deck, Switch, or whatever uh, applicable wireless computing gaming device, and then it'll, it'll let you to char charge the device while providing video input output excuse me to your x real glasses all right where the hell are we going okay probably over there but let me see is there anything else okay so let's get the fuck out of here hold on was there a computer no all right try not to waste too much time and especially i know when i can when i talk about certain things i could get a little distracted too 
don't mind. <laughs> don't mind the change in my voice. Hold on. I unfortunately have a slight case of the Rona. Oops. Whether you believe in it or not, you know, sick is still being sick, so we'll just leave it at that. Uh, so, I found out I had it yesterday after when my brother-in-law tested himself and told me that he tested positive. So I tested myself after I got home from work, and it turns out that I tested positive too. And the only one who didn't test positive was my sister, out of all of us who live in the same complex. Um, and then I don't think my cousin caught it when we were last at his house, but we were actually at his house. an APC. Can you two intercept? Bishop, how? I'd start with bullets. Because we were at his place on Wednesday, which is two days after we found out, well, my cousin-in-law found out that I guess apparently the president at the club for this uh, steak dinner benefit we went to tested positive for COVID, so I'm not sure if they're the ones who infected numerous people or if someone else showed up to the party sick and kept to themselves and didn't tell nobody, or they didn't know they had it, which is also a thing too, because you can also be a carrier and not have any symptoms. So then, yeah, we were at my cousin's house two days later. I'm pretty sure he tested native because I don't think I remember him complaining and saying, oh, thanks for getting me sick, fuckers. And then, like I said, my sister didn't get it. And I let my girlfriend know she tested herself. She didn't get it. Lucky bitch. Especially since I'm going to sound like George Stanza, if, if any of you are Seinfeld fans. We just had sex. Yeah, fuckers. And I see an... Oh, he's jumping. One of them came down. Fucking spitters got range. And they explode too. Thought I saw, okay. Got the alien, but not the, oh, he's a heavy duty guy, that's why. He's a super! Come on, did you get down, O'Neal? Now, what? I know this, hold on. Now, I know this game has a uh, multiplayer feature for the story mode, which I still wouldn't mind trying. It just makes me wonder where, like, um, do the other players take over as O'Neal and Bella up until the point where she dies? Or are you just random random Marines? Or is everyone just like, they just look like Winters? Here goes some more tags. Because like, I know if you play like games like Halo, you know, you just got everyone looking like the Master Chief because it's all one character. Except for Halo 3. I did like for Halo 3 how they changed up where like one person is the Master Chief and then three of them are basically just elites. So like I said, yeah, I never played a multiplayer story mode for this game. Uh, the first time I played this game, I was in Afghanistan when I beat it, so I played that solo. And haven't played it multiplayer. I would like to try it multiplayer, so I'm not sure if anyone has it for Steam or the 360. Uh, I'm not sure if there's I'm pretty sure, well, I mean, you don't need a server to do a story mode. You just have someone jump into your game. So if there's anyone who is um, interested, whether you have a, the Steam version or the 360 version, feel free to leave me a comment in the comment section. Maybe we can um, give that a go and check it out. Or maybe, who knows, maybe I can convince my brother-in-law to play it again, which I know he wasn't really much of a fan of it either. <clears throat> I mean, it's still a decent game, but I mean, it has its ups and downs. He's down. All right, let's see if there's anything over here. So we got one more tag and one more audio log to find. There we go. Turn our 
flashlight back on or shoulder lamp, whatever it's called. Thought there's more tags right there, but I guess not. Full on ammo. Not sure what ammo that those cans are for. Alright. Go, you ahead. There's an APC. Is that ours? Or is that the enemy's? There he is! Oh, so he's in the APC. Who is it again that we're rescuing? Is it someone from our team or is it actually or is it or is it uh possibly uh Hicks from Aliens? I forget. Like I said, I haven't played this game since 2013s. Alright, let's rain fiery hell on these a-holes. How is that not killing him? That made absolutely actual, no sense. Are you seeing this? Come in, actual. There's an FTL on the ground. That's our way off planet. Hello? Actual! Where the hell did he go? He already knew. What? O'Neill, man, we gotta go now! Cruz, he knew about this traitor ass piece of shit before he authorized the mission. It was never about Bella. O'Neill, get in the goddamn APC! Actual, this is 2 1 en route with prisoner. You have a lot of explaining to do, sir. Still got a job to do. Complete rampart. Something's wrong. They look pissed as shit at you. Do they have a reason to be? Yep. Who is he? Son, be careful about what you do next. Did you know about the manifest? You were gonna go either way. Did you know that Bella was gonna die, no matter what? <sighs> yes. And you knew it too. Son, there wasn't a force in hell that was gonna stop you guys from going in and trying anyway. Put it down. Lower it. We just risked our lives to get this guy out of the way you facility. Let's ignore the lion for a second. Why the hell was this Marine so important to you? What happened on the Sulaco? Don't lie to me. Don't you dare lie to me! Get that bag off that soldier now. Oh, it's Hicks. It is Hicks. Who the fuck is that? Oh, great. Back here. I'm Corporal Hicks from the USS Sulaco. I've been held under duress for months by Wailing Yutani. He wanted information. Bishop? Are you alive? Different Bishop. How the hell are you alive, Hicks? Your file was closed KIA 14 weeks ago. We're here because we responded to your distress call. We should. What information did you give them, Corporal? Stuff they're gonna figure out anyway. Enough to keep me alive without saying much. Captain, who did we bring back? We found out about Hicks when it was already too goddamn late. I didn't think there was a snowball's chance in fuck any of you were coming back alive. I'm sorry about Bella. You have no idea. They had a prisoner in that facility for weeks. Wayu has an FTL ship on the planet. Now I got a duty to the other hundred Marines to get them off this rock. Then you better hurry, sir. Last FTL leaves soon and it ain't coming back. You know the FTL schedules? I know a lot more than that. Sir, we have two squads of Marines inbound, coming in hot. What? There's more than a hundred Xenos heading right for Hadley's Hope.
New record, soldier. Next time on Alien Colonial Marines! Oh, there was something in my way. Bitch, get the fuck out of my way. God damn it. Ow, what the hell? Oh, shit, you spitting fucking whore. Already bleeding red, so one good hit and I'm dead. And I just got chopped. 